Welcome back everyone, my name is Altamar and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Wrath of the Righteous. We are in science land, doing science things. These apparently are classified as using magic devices, even though they are very clearly not. They are very science-y. You realize that the knowledge of the camp around you is stored and processed in the depths of this machine. It contains information on the workings of the camp's machinery as well as previous attempts to storm the compound. So tell me it. Alright, I'm going to save before trying this one now. Splendidly. Calling upon your extensive knowledge, you, hypo you hypothesize that these humming boxes are the brains of the hive of machines around you, the place where their memory and knowledge are stored. Mm. This, this is a very cool area. It is also very scary. I'm going to push this door open and see what happens. It opened to another computer that will allow us to access the door controls. Which opens our way into this room, apparently. Okay. I feel like there should be like... You know like in Might and Magic, where at a certain point of the game, you just kind of drop the pretense of it being a fantasy game and you get blaster weapons? I feel like this is that part of like this, like... this is the part of the game where Pathfinder goes into that sort of realm of understanding. I don't know if we can open this door. The door is shrouded in a ma magical force field generated by a mysterious mechanism which leads somewhere else. Can I go in here? A flaming lockpick. We need another one of those burning thingies. Let's go find another door to go through. It's possible that this one can be opened. Present the passkey to unlock the gate. What passkey? Uh, I have now reached sort of an impasse. I guess we can go down this hallway. Which will hopefully eventually lead to something. Well, that door opens. What's in wait for me there? I wonder. Does this door open? No. You need to protect yourself from the harmful psionic field enveloping this door before you open it. Okay. Well, let's go down this hallway then. Save the last one for me. Augmented defenders. How many billions of armor class do you have? 34, that's actually not that bad. Oh, there's more things than just the one, though. They never come in ones. Well, let's kill this guy first, then. There's two grunts with terrifying laser swords. Oh, well, one's electricity, one's cold, but... Laser-y swords. We're gonna haste. Because... Battle, obviously. That wasn't the worst attack round. We're gonna also heal. What the hell just happened there? We crit him and he exploded because of all my other people getting to attack. We definitely want to kill the uh, sword guys first. Yeah, they hit pretty hard. Not particularly too worried about the defenders. They don't have much of a chance to hit us. And they actually don't have that much armor class, surprisingly. For a tower shield wielding insane... Oh my god, she exploded him. Greatsword plus one. It doesn't even have the elemental damage that it said it did. I am slightly perturbed by that. Present passkey to unlock the gateway. We don't have one. This may or may not open up. This definitely opens up into a room with a vat. And a crystal. I'm pressing the crystal. Which... Got rid of the psionic barrier on that door. I don't even know if that was the door we were going into before. This place is kind of mazy. I think it was, though. It definitely was. Okay, um, I'm just going to quickly go down this way a little bit. To the end of the hall. We can't get through here, right? No, we can't. We need the passkey. Okay. Well, that's a different psionic field. This was the magnetic field. Not to be confused with psionic shield. Or field. Can I just open this door now? Do you actually need to go all the way around to open the door? <laughs> you do. Well, okay then. Fair enough. 
Maybe I need to use that computer. Let's go find out when we get there. It's definitely a thing you have to use. There we go. Forwards! No, no, backwards. Uh, backwards! This is a rather large room. There's a greater Calavicus Marauder here. Close ranks. And what the hell is going on here? Okay, there are enemies. An incubus, Chief Kara, and another incubus, and some more marauders. I'm just going to hold off on moving in, because we're in a haste. Could I have delayed? Yes. Did I do that? No. Nenio, you have the worst... I don't know, understand why your uh, initiative is so bad. Chief Car has some spell resistance, of course. Why wouldn't he? Everyone's going in. That was a weird moment. Uh, I'm gonna move away and take. No, that was entirely the wrong direction. Went to Wog, damn it. <clears throat> oh well, it's fine. This one's mine. That was hurt pretty bad. East, that's slightly annoying. East. Um, yeah, we'll be fine, I think. Almost dead. Succubus is coming in. You are today's sacrifice. Did not kill that one. Uh, I need you to move into here and try and trip that one. It did work. Did not get to re-trip it though. We took some damage. Succubus is coming in as well. This is actually a pretty okay area to do this. But I don't want to hit my own dogs, so I just got to be kind of careful. Decent damage. That Incubus is not doing anything, which is fine by me. Now, I meant to move her here, which I was fine taking the AOO from. But she didn't get to do that because she did something very stupid instead. Okay, that one's down, technically. Not dead. Um, why do Circo up here? Maybe we can keep them crowd controlled. All right, can we coup de gras? Yes, perfect. That one is dead. Moving over to the next one. Just don't want them getting back up, you know. Needs a 20 to hit, so that's basically not happening. Windwall just took a hit. Bunch of vampire touches going on. Just start smacking these guys down with fire. Did that do any damage to our good chief friend? No, that spell resistance is pretty damn high. It's got spell resistance 26, which means we really only need to roll an 8. So to st uh, statistically, we should be able to, but not so much. Let's take in the AOO, move away. Bane attack, shoot that one. No, Miss entirely. Is not an option. Move Regilin to go kill that one. This is going fine up there. Do you think if we add more Syracos up there, it would be just more dangerous for them? I think it is. That's amazing. Those are just horrible attacks all around. We're not doing very good at killing this Clavicus. And it's really got a hate on for Wendwog. Let's just heal now. Except Wendwog can't be healed, so we gotta move a little bit. That should be close enough. Good enough. I'll just shoot. Fine. It's only got one AOO anyways. 
Kneel before me. I think these guys are just gonna die by being in this circle, which makes me very happy. That was less good. May I see your entrails, please? Our rolls are just the worst. The spirits demand your blood. Also, the succubi have a pretty considerable amount of armor class. You're fine, Wendell. We'll heal you up. Once Regil gets there, it'll take he'll take care of the problem for you. All right, Regil, take care of this, please. Got some of the damage done. Oh, we got back up finally. What is serenity? We did something. I don't know what it is. All right, well, fireball at our feet again. Do some damage. Worked a little bit. The attack there we go, some decent attack round. Finally. You are today's sacrifice. Hey, we got one succubus mirror image down. That vampir touch is very annoying. One more heal and I think we should all be topped up. Cool. Regil, just finish this thing off now, please. Right, can't be finished off. Need to... Lightning it. <laughs> this is very fun. Uh, wait a minute, we might have a lightning spell in here. Lightning bolt! Can we aim this in a way that won't shoot our people in the face? No, someone's getting shot in the face if we do this. Uh, we can do shock and grasp. There we go. Not the best use of that spell, but it worked out. Die, die, die. Go for their hearts. This is a very cool area, I gotta say. Big fan. It's really giving me that might and magic vibe. Which I love, I'm not opposed to that at all. I'm, like, I would never be complaining about that. Let's start to shoot down these guys. Hey, we got one shot in. Reg, I need you to come fight these things. I think I might need to, uh, lightning them. They do have regeneration from lightning, so we can't actually just kill them. I wonder if we can just get a lightning bolt in there. We'll do that, we'll try with Nenio. Because I don't think anyone else has anything that can do that. With. They're both down though. Kind of. One's almost dead. Okay, come up here. Can I make this... actually, if I come over to here, I might be able to, like, lance them across. Just don't enter the Sirico, because you might end up dying. We grab Lightning Bolt. Just kind of aim it. Sort of like this. We can hit two of them. That dealt 90 damage. That vulnerability to lightning is insane. Alright, well, a lightning sword would be an amazing boon here. If you can find a lightning sword, and I don't think there are a couple in the game, definitely bring it with you here. That damage would make this so much easier. Shock and grasp might have made this place a joke. There is still an incubus there, we'll lightning bolt him too. I'm not too concerned about that. 
Come on, let's go. This one's mine. That one's down. Moving on to the next one. I wonder if we can... Well, let's take out that uh, already mostly dead one. Then we'll lightning bolt the other one. See if we can get that done. Oh, spell resistance. That's annoying. Well, okay. Let the attack commence. Also, don't forget the Camellia has lightning sword, technically. Although she can't hit anything, so... Nah, maybe she can. It's down on the ground. At least temporarily. I don't actually know how long Sirico lasts for either, so we might have to wait this out. Press the attack. Die, die, die. Okay, she's dead. Which means now we just gotta wait out Sirico. Um... I mean, shooting into it's not going to do anything, obviously. What else do we have? I mean, we could try another lightning bolt. Just to end the combat. There we go. Oh, the chief's alive. We can still do this. After a coughing fit, the warrior wipes the blood from her lips. Her hands move slightly, move lightly without the artificial stiffness you've observed in the behavior of the other enemies here. Her hand, oh, sorry, uh, but her head has been mutilated the same way as everyone else's. The top of her skull has been removed, and the thin barbs of the crown she's wearing go right into her exposed brain. Who are you? I'm Kara, chieftain of the Blackwater clan. She regards you with proud defiance. There's no trace of any cold, of the cold indifference in her eyes that you've seen in the other guards. And you, outsider, have assaulted my home and threatened our great mission. What's your mission? Her voice rings with zealous fervor. To defeat the demons, we're gathering an army that can march on eyes and exterminate the abyssal spawn. Poor souls like you who wander into our camp become invincible soldiers. Only they are capable of prevailing in this war. No mere mortals, not even the gods themselves, can stop the world wound. And that means we are mortal kind's last chance. We possess great magical weapons, our bodies no longer know pain, and our hearts know no fear. Our, our minds are bound by the master's will and discipline. Cast your blade down and let him touch you and you'll join with us as a true savior of Galarian. It's time to set you free. My death means nothing. Our mission will still succeed. She accepts your blow stoically. Without a hint of fear in her eyes. Oh no, don't run into the Sirico. Oh no, 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 this is bad. No. I should have left that one guy alive. At least I can't technically die in the cutscene, I guess. I crave for adventure. Oh, it ended, okay. Oof. Well, Chief Car had a cha <laughs> chain shirt plus one and blasting bracers. What do those do? These are Numerian technology and you can't equip them. Numerian key couple cold iron thingies. There's a treasure chest with uh, some random junk. Not exactly the grand reward I was hoping for. There is a use magic device on the computer there. Trail me. What else is in this place? Well, we killed Chief Kara. There's two use magic devices. Let's try this one first. This machine is like an insatiable and discriminating What's bibliophile, one that greedily absorbs whatever knowledge it can and stores it in its memory. Brought to life by electricity, this machine clearly has the capacity to think. Its acute senses are gathering information from every corner of the camp. Alright, well, we successfully took out the chief, I guess, technically. And we have a key, which maybe will let us get anywhere we want now. I think this needs a cutting torch still, though. Yes, it does. Let's go look around. Carry me. We should have a key to this, because we have the chieftain's key. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, one guy, whatever. We'll just kill him. But more than one makes this a little bit more of an endeavor. So we kind of have a very limited ability to do these kills. I mean, yeah, we can do coup de gras, which does work. Just delay. Sure, doesn't matter. Do we have bless on anymore? Yeah, we do. Okay, good. 
I was just wondering, because it's been a while since we've checked either on that. Uh, we don't want to hit our own people. So we wouldn't be able to hit just two of them without with hitting without hitting Regil. No, oh, there we go. Perfect. Pretty solid damage. Missed entirely. Can only hit two of them. Unless we move to like here. There we go. May I see your entrails, please? That one's down. Can Camille finish it off? Yes. That one did not quite go down. I'll rip you apart. Wonderwalk has... Well, I thought she had no chance of hitting it, but she did hit it, just for two. Nope. Yeah, we're gonna rest soon anyways, probably. Nice, that one's dead. I think the wolf can finish it. Yep. Alright, there's another magnetic door. And another normal door. Which leads to augmented salamanders, which I think were enemies. Can't remember how tough these things were. Should he use Piranha Strike there? Hold on. I'll cut you wide open. Um, we'll grab haste for this fight, I think. At least on those people. Burn, slice, behead. Not the worst so far. They do have a pretty solid chance to hit. Well, that one's dead. That one's also knocked down. Oh, and here's another one coming in to help out. Shoot the knocked down one. Beg me to stop. Or not. Is not an option. The spirits demand your blood. Yes. I don't think that these guys will take fire damage. To oh, they will. For on an augmented on a salamander, really? I guess they're augmented. Maybe that just doesn't help out their natural fire resistance. Possibly. Rachel can finish this one off and then start on the next one. I think after this room we'll probably be done our video. We've done a couple of really long ones lately and I need to take a... Actually, you know what? We'll keep going. we got time. And that's the end of those. How much experience are these? These are giving... Like, this place gives a lot of experience. Are we just, like, a low level for... These are spear plus threes on random trash mobs. Which is actually better than what the chief gave us, which was nothing. Components for 100 faces circlet. I don't know what that means. Flaming lockpick. We need more flaming lockpick lock things. We do have a way to go over here. Down into the bowels of this place, which is scary. Another door is opened, and it has... A person. An actual person! Athara Vons. A warrior in a crusader's tabard rocks back and forth in a meditative trance. Her mangled head is adorned with the same type of sinister looking circlet you've seen on the other guards, but she issues no menacing demands for you to surrender to Hundred Faces Mercy, and Cheshire quietly whispers, I am a day bold in my spirit before my death. You alive? The warrior starts, as if waking up from a deep slumber. She stares at you in surprise. You're not one of Hundred Faces' servants. You don't have one of those accursed circlets. Praise Iomade. I prayed someone would come and help me. Please end my suffering. 
There's a mixture of pain and relief in her eyes. What's her name? Athara Vons, Corporal in the Mendevian Army. Our squad was lured to this place. We were on forward patrol when we met a man. He told us that a group of slaves had escaped from the demons and taken shelter in this camp. He said that there were many wounded who needed help. Once we entered the camp, we had no way of leaving. Where are your comrades? They have all fallen. When we realized we were trapped, we tried to fight our way to the heart of this compound, but we stumbled upon some magical device that seems to incinerate mines. We had to stop and take up defensive positions nearby. We were holed up there for two days while our wizard tried to find a way past it. But those abominations came and picked us off one by one. They deliberately avoided killing us. They just wounded us enough to cripple us. Then later, the ones they'd taken back, with their heads cracked open, she shuddered. They didn't recognize us. They carried out someone else's will, shouted someone else's words, but the voices, they were the voices of my friends. When I, when I alone was left, they came for me. I just couldn't, I couldn't end their lives. Damned coward. Couldn't bring myself to do it. They made me into this. How did you manage to resist being possessed? She lets out a pain chuckle. It's not easy. His voice enters your mind, and to defy his commands is torture, but I'm a medium. I'm used to hearing voices in my head. They almost drove me mad as a kid until I learned to quiet them. That's why I joined the Crusaders when I grew up. I prayed to Ayamade for help, and she blessed me with the fortitude I needed. But that's why I'm fighting, and that's why I'll keep fighting that scumbag for as long as I can. He's breaking me bit by bit, but I'll stay strong. Because as soon as I give up, I... I owe Ayamade, please no. Her eyes widen in fear, and a spark of lightning arcs along the spice of the circlet. A tear runs down her cheek. I don't want to lose myself. It's terrifying. Gods, it's so terrifying. May Ayamade watch over your soul. Thank you. I don't want to hear him in my head any longer. We killed her. No secrets can the corpse under the sheet is one of the defenders of this place. Their mechanical parts have been roughly ripped out and flesh discarded like carrion. There's a perception check. Let's try that first. I am helpful. What at first appeared to be a patch of rust is revealed upon closer inspection to be an old bloodstain spread across the wide drain. Gross. There's a magical device check here. This machine is used for healing and provides the healer with information about the patient's current condition. We're going to save before everything so we can do all the checks. Anything this corpse's mutilated head shows that an attempt was made to place the circuit on the victim's head, but they did not survive the agonizing operation. The anatomical drawing, replete with stomach-turning details, sets out how to crown a victim with the sinister barbed circlet. We got some lockpick fuel, for one of the doors at least. What's this do? The contraption before you looks truly sinister, like the entrails of some sort of sea creature. A glinting tangle of ebony tubes connects to a capacious vessel. The binding splattered with blackened blood must serve to hold helpless victims. You notice a piece of scalp stuck between the teeth of the serrated saw. The shiny and impossibly sharp drill is sickening to look at. It's like the machine is sleeping, but ready at any moment to awaken and recommence torturing and dissecting living flesh. Well, 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 what have we here? Interesting. Very interesting. Nenio's eyes burn with curiosity. Examine it. It appears that this machine is what performed the heinous and disfiguring procedures on the guards that have turned them into puppets. A separate compartment of the machine holds an orderly stack of nefarious circlets, their metal spikes gleaming. Check out the circlets. Numerous crystal plates, all no thicker than a hair, cover the inside of each circlet's rim. These plates overlap in an intricate pattern and are connected by a web of grayish metal fibers. Small spheres of cloudy stone that resemble smoky quartz rest against the temples. It's possible that these are what the mysterious master uses to deliver commands to his slaves. How do they work? Carefully touching the crystal plates, you analyze the circlet's reactions. Some touches make the circlet vibrate quietly, while others cause tiny storms of lightning to run along the spikes. Even though this contraption is created by adepts of magic you're, that you're completely unfamiliar with, you are nonetheless certain that it is magical. Basing your assumptions on your knowledge of primary arcane principles, you're able to guess the access keys to some of the simplest, least sophisticated functions and activate the circlet. It seems this item was crafted through the use of psionic magic. The crown can heighten one's sensitivity to influences, but it could instead be made to protect the wearer from psionics. Interesting. Let's leave for now. Hmm. Well, this is an interesting situation. That is a lightning field. We need to disable the arcane emitter very clearly because it's lightninging everywhere. I'm guessing we need to go up into this other room. But we also have a key for this door down here. I'm going to go down to this door and see what's down here first. This is a pretty cool zone now that we aren't stuck fighting things that are unkillable. We went in there, right? We must have. It just looks sort of disjointed. We also didn't go into that door yet. Very clearly, there's a 
We'll go there too. Alright, let's go see what's in here first. Oh. We need to protect ourselves from the psionic field beforehand. Okay. That's fine. Maybe we go up here first. To this door. And if not, maybe we have to go back to that room and see if we can make the circlet into a psionic barrier. And I don't know how to do that yet. We do have one door we can blast open with a fire thingy. It's not the only one we can do, but I digress. Let's save and see what happens with this door. Uh huh. Warrior or workers are in here. Nothing dangerous yet. Let's go loop around a little bit. Hundred faces circlet. Maybe we need these to make. I don't know how to do this yet. Okay, figure it out. Stormlord's resolve. If the wearer of these bracers has the ability to cast spells spontaneously, grants them the ability to cast the following spells. Jolting Portent, Call Lightning, Lightning Bolt, Chains of Light, Lightning Storm, Chain Lightning, Storm Bolts. To cast a spell, the wearer still needs to have a spell spot at the required level. It also needs the wearer to have an electrical... Oh, this is awesome. And the wearer can fully embrace the power of these bracers, turning all their energy attacks into electrical. Damn. Well, they're pretty nice gauntlets. I'm going to give them to Nenio. She can spawn... Or maybe... Maybe Nenio. The Ring of Devastating Will. Plus three protection... Oh, wait. Plus... It's a Ring of Protection plus three. And grants the ability to avoid magical and unusual attacks with great willpower. A will saving throw will cause an attack that deals half damage and instead take no damage. So it's like um, improved evasion or... Yeah, something like that. Cool, cool. Let's just continue on. This is the room full of good items that we were looking for. And this says, The crates are numbered with Numerian symbols arranged with compulsive precision. What's in wait for me there, I wonder? Let's go see what this computer does. Nope. There we go. A success After pressing the button a couple times, a message appears on the device. Sinex shielding tool. Storeroom 1. Further attempts yield nothing more. Where's storeroom one? It's possible that up here is storeroom one. Uh, I'm going to quickly take a look at those items, though. That ring is really good. And it might be better than the ring of protection plus two. Because it's the ring of protection plus three. Oh yeah, that is the stuff. I mean, I can... Spontaneously cast two. What am I, what am I wearing on my wrists? Braces of armor plus five, right? Let's give it to Nenio for now. We need her to be able to cast all the lightning bolts in the world. Actually, I don't know if that counts as being able to spontaneously cast. It's arcane bonding. It's possible only someone maybe like Darren can use them. Yeah, I don't care about the concentration Lose checks. Jolting Portent, yep. Chain Lightning, yep. So, Nenio didn't get those abilities, so Smile. I guess she doesn't count World's for it. Just yet. Okay, this is pretty cool. Um... I'm going to remove Create Undead and push these back a little. So Jolting Portent. Chain Lightning, of course. And, of course, we get Jolt... Oh, that is Jolting Portent. What was the other one then? Lightning Bolt? Lightning Bolt. And I screwed this up. Now I don't have Chain Lightning. I'm also going to get rid of Raise Dead on this bar. There we go. Okay. Now we have a bunch of Lightning Spells. Let's burn this thing open. What's in this room? I hope we have more of those things somewhere. I spy. What do I spy? Helmet of the Abyss Killer. According to legend, this helmet was belonged to a mighty warrior who was doomed to endlessly slay hordes of demons. It doesn't seem to have any magic, but it looks formidable. That is a Doom reference, and that is amazing, and I love it. I love everything about what just happened there. Cool. 
corruption fades. They were holy writings about Ayamide's mortal life and her acts. The pages are decayed. The text is now unreadable. Stuff like that. So we need to defend ourselves against... This can't be storeroom one. This is clearly not. So where is storeroom one? There's a door over here that I missed. It does have a key reader. It's possibly that one. Let's go down here. Let's see if we can open this door. Alternatively, what other doors are there around that we've missed? We can go exploring. Alright, let's see. This led to this room. This led to this room. There's no doors or anything over here. This is like a forge room. Nothing in here that I can see. Did you reach the door yet? We, we did. Look. Okay, this is a new room we can go into. Clearly something in here. Okay, I have $7,000. Some simmering pollen. Some silver powder. Some coal and a handful of gems. A half-assembled magical device looks as incomprehensible as it does absurdly unviable. Someone do the knowledge account, please. I'm always okay, Nenio. Oh, we failed. Let's reload. Did I save after I failed? I think I did. Oh, maybe I didn't. Oh, yes, what? At first I said, no, I can't. Too dangerous. Okay, we'll keep trying. We have pretty good knowledge, Arcana. Let's try a couple more times. What is the DC, though? That's maybe what we should check ahead of time. The road calls me. It is I'll take the bait. DC 25. Why is also Nenio not doing this? Oh. Yes, what? Okay, let's try Nenio next time. She should have way higher knowledge arcana. Maybe she's just in a bad position. There we go. Your knowledge allows you to recognize the contours of a new deadly weapon in the deranged diagram, one based on Numerian technology. Welcome to Hundred Face. Enter your personal code to access the commander's arsenal. We don't have a code yet. We'll get to that. Any more doors? To There's this door, but we don't have an entrance or exit to it. We need to present protect ourselves from the powerful psionic field beforehand. Okay. Let's go see if we can find more things. This looks like a storage room. Maybe this is the storage room. Do we miss something over here? It's also possible there's something like to the side over there. Be quick, else we miss all the fun. There's a door here. Oh, more psionic protection type stuff. Okay. Forwards? Uh, no, backwards. Backwards. Well, there's nothing in there. Any computery stuff we can do? No. What's this do? Nothing there. I might have to go look around and see what I can find. I don't know what we're missing. I'm gonna go here and see if we can't duck around like the sides of this thing. It's possible that this is... Nope, it's just a straight up magma path. Okay. Alright, uh, what time are we at anyways? We're at 39 minutes. We'll call it here. I will look around, figure out how to advance further, and then we'll go from there. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time, I guess. Oh, here we go. Sorry, before we leave. Um, for some reason, we had to do these checks again a second time. With the help of the tools available to you, convert the crown into a protective circlet. There we go. First and foremost, you break off the sharp spikes, then you tear the drill out of the monstrous machine's fastening, then you wield the drill, methodically punching holes in the circlet, and hoping your calculations are correct. By destroying a few specific parts of the contraption, you can re re render it completely harmless. At last, your work is complete. 
You've turned the horrible device into something resembling a helmet that can be worn atop a head. An intact head that hasn't come into contact with a saw. This headgear will keep the wearer safe from even the strongest psionic attacks. Alright, so we have a... Oh, we're gonna lose our sweet charisma thing. Well, I kind of want to make the Hamlet of the Abyss Killer into something. But anyways, I will leave you guys here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.